John, and it's time to go back in the day, as we are wont to do on this program. ACLA scoring this year is down. Teams average 67 and a half points per game. On this date, 25 years ago in the NCAA tournament, Michigan put up 115. Yeah, and they lost to Loyola Marymount by 34, who hit a tournament record 21 three-pointers, scoring 84 of their points in the second half. Dan Patrick was on the Sports Center anchor desk on this date back in 1990, and he had the highlights. The defending NCAA champs look to continue their quest for consecutive championships, something no other team has accomplished since the 1972-73 UCLA Bruins. But the Michigan Wolverines ran into that team riding a self-described emotional hurricane. The result for Loyola Marymount was one for the books and another one for Hank Gathers. Some exciting basketball, and uh, this is Sean Higgins telling Terrell Lowry to pick on someone his own size, so he does, for Neil Robinson. Jeff Breyer was on fire. Five three-pointers in the first half. Michigan kept pace, though. It's Robinson to Terry Mills. Mills, 19 at the half. But then there was Bo Kimmel, the leading scorer in the nation. Getting the hoop, getting the foul. Loyola leading by 11. And he has vowed to shoot his first free throw in memory of Hank Gathers. He did. He hit it. Loyola led by seven at the half. Breyer came out smoking again. His seventh three-pointer of the evening. Good. One more time on the break. Why go in for a layup? That is a layup. He had 11 three-pointers on the day. Loyola still running. Kimball, the jam, the foul, and the Lions advancing to the Sweet 16. And for Steve Fisher, his first ever tournament loss. He had won seven in a row. The Lions win it big by the final of 149 to 115, the highest scoring game in NCAA tournament history to 149 points, also a tournament record. It broke the single game record of 127 set by St. Joseph's back in 1961. Ironically, Paul West had played on that St. Joseph's team. Steve Fisher's seven-game winning streak comes to an end. Also uh, top back in the day, first off we should say, not everybody wanted to run with Loyola Marymount. They played Alabama in the next round, 62-60. Mm. Not by that, played Vegas. Vegas wasn't afraid to get up and down with them. 131-101. And that Vegas team, of course, went on to beat Duke in the uh, national championship. I don't know championship what was more game. jarring, seeing Dan from 25 years ago or the score panel. That's a, that's a good look. Both are great looks. The hair, the score panel, the graphics, all great stuff. 25 years ago, I had hair. Also on this date, 20 years